Uh, I've always enjoyed fishing and, and um, when I got so busy that I couldn't fish, I missed it. And so I, I appreciate these kind of projects because now they allow the fish to, to uh, regenerate, go to the ocean, come back, and, and I think we're getting more fish in the river. When you look at the river and you understand what it should be doing and what it was redirected to do to enhance agricultural production, then you got to look and review that again and to see if there's a better blend of the two. A lot of these tributaries that like our salmon and steelhead return to have been uh, negatively impacted by land use, uh, things like timber harvest, road building, uh, agriculture and that's one of, again, many limiting factors here in the basin. Some others are flow, repairing condition, um, and we're trying to address all of those. So this is ultimately trying to make fish habitat better. One of my favorite parts of the work I do is when I get the phone calls from biologists and they need, they need something changed. They, they, want, they want to fix something. We, we meet with landowners, we find out how much area we have to deal with, we discuss what was the problem in the first place. We uh, get to identify where important areas are for uh, rearing um, of juvenile fish, spawning, habitats, those types of things. And we try to let the fish tell us uh, where we should be focused uh, in our habitat work. So we want to look at more of a holistic picture and where we can really provide the biggest benefit and the biggest bang for the buck. We're working with the landowner describing it to them. We're working with a team of engineers and geomorphologists. And these conceptual designs become engineering drawings. Then you go into the construction phase and you see the heavy equipment working in a stream. And they're, they're building what you've been visualizing in your mind for potentially years. And then once the design has been finalized and everyone provided a little bit of input, that's when the real fun, I think, begins. has a man-made look to it until it interacts with water. And once it starts interacting with water, and maybe you get high flows through it, that man-made project becomes a river again. Fish and macroinvertebrates occupy the habitat you've built and it becomes alive. That's the most exciting part. Our primary funding sources are from NOAA Fisheries, and it's the Pacific Coastal Salmon Recovery Fund, and the Bonneville Power Administration. We also work with Fish and Wildlife Service as well. Well, it's one thing to sit down on a piece of paper and start drawing ideas and, yeah, that'd be neat, that'd be cool. And then when somebody tells you how much it costs, you're thinking, well, wait a minute, you know, I, I can't afford that. But with their help on this, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's the complete difference maker. Up. And uh, with the tariffs and, and the things that are, are now going on, in our country, there would be no way possible that we could ever afford to, to put this type of a project in without funding. It puts a smile on my face for the fish, but it puts a smile on my face for the landowners as well, because without them, we couldn't do what we're doing, and, and you know, I, I have to give them a lot of credit. One thing that I've really seen with this, with this project is it has saved a tremendous amount of water, and, and now, um, that water is going down into the Lemhi River where 
pumping it back up. It's been being put on places that are uh, good pieces of ground that grow good grass. The way I look at it is these habitat projects will benefit uh, all of the citizens of Idaho as well as most of the people in, in the Pacific Northwest. Agriculture is an important uh, uh, economic force in Idaho. Uh, we've got to find a way to balance the two and there's a way to do that. The, the most rewarding part is the relationships that I've developed and I, you know, I, I say that from the heart. And I walk away really excited about the, you know, the benefits to the fish and wildlife that we've created. That's been by far the most rewarding to that. I, you know, there's, there are tremendous people that live in this valley that are proactive and really want to do the right thing. Uh, you know, this, this is a small community with a struggling economy and there are really three parts uh, to the economy that keep it going. Uh, one is the cattle operations that are uh, active throughout this valley. Uh, the second one is recreation, uh, fishing, hunting, uh, rafting, uh, outdoor activities like biking and uh, so on. Uh, so certainly anything that improves the habitat for fish contributes to that part of the economy. And the third part of the economy is the government agencies that uh, help us get all these projects done. The response so far has been very positive. Uh, people love the opportunity to see more fish in their towns. You know, aside from the fishing, which is very important economically uh, to these towns, uh, people just want to see the fish come back as well. 